Today I'm going to make my anabolic french toast pizza, but this time I'm going to make it sweet. So these are the ingredients you will need. Eggs, whole eggs, or you can buy egg whites to lower the calories, and you can use half a box of egg whites, that is around 25 grams of protein, 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. This one has 4 grams of protein per egg. This one is higher in calories because it has the yolk in it, the yolk contains fat, fat is 9 calories per gram. Sugar-free sweetener, then you can use any flavoring you want, uh, just make sure it has no sugar in it. I have vanilla extract, this one is rum essence, and lemon extract. Now, rum essence may contain sugar so be careful it may contain caramel cinnamon so powdered cinnamon I recommend you to use low calorie peanut butter like PB fit this one is regular peanut butter this one is really high in calories so either you buy PB fit which is low calorie peanut butter or you skip or you don't use peanut butter low fat yogurt yeah, low fat yogurt, cocoa powder, just don't put too much, half a coffee spoon, not more than that. More dried fruit that I'm going to put on the, in this recipe. So if you want this recipe to be low in calories, don't put dried fruit, put fresh fruit like strawberry, blueberry. Okay, strawberries, blueberries are low in calories. You can put banana too, just don't put too much because a large banana is equals around 100 calories. So be careful with that. Don't put too much because it's high in fructose. Bread, I'm using this regular bread. This one is high in calories. You can use uh, regular white bread. You also need a non-stick pan. You spray a non-stick pan for one second. One second is equals around 10 calories. I will make this meal with five eggs because I'm hungry as hell right now. The next ingredient is the sugar-free sweetener. The amount differs from the type of sweetener you're using. Make sure it's sugar-free so it's low in calories. Make sure you read the instructions on the bottle. I don't measure how much I put because I know how much I need. So what I do is I just go and sprinkle it like that. So I always put the liquids first in, not the powders. So what you do with these extracts, because they are concentrated, they need to be dissolved in water. Instead, fill the top, you pour that in, and that's going to be enough. This already smells like a cake. And it also tastes like a cake, so you're eating a cake for breakfast. I am going to eat a cake for breakfast right now. I'm hungry as hell. Next is cinnamon. I recommend half a coffee spoon of cinnamon. I put a lot more cocoa powder than what I recommend. Half a coffee spoon to one flat coffee spoon. You won't need more. Also be careful because cocoa powder is high in calories. 309 calories per 100 grams. This box is 200 grams. 618 calories it will look like something something like this i know it's not appealing to the eye but trust me after you mix it and you make your toast it will look a lot better you guys know how to do the whisk huh here's how you whisk eggs this is how it will look like mixed together so when you're finished it should look something something like that you put on low heat okay make sure the pan is hot okay so I have my mixture here take the bread see and just put it in push it in a little bit flip it make sure the pan is hot that's important so it doesn't stick to the pan okay and then you just stick it out if I can show you looks like that and then you just put it on the pan and the pan is hot. Next piece of bread in. Push it in. Flip it. It's that easy. We can make this in 15 minutes. Maybe I can put some light here. There we go. And then the rest, we just pour it on top of them, I guess. And now you just wait. So after a couple of minutes, you check it, check under it, you see, make sure that the top is not too runny, mine isn't runny right now, but, you know, 
there's not too much liquid on the top. And I, I think I can flip this. You just go under it and just try to, try to flip it. There you go. Alright, that left a little bit of eggs here. Let's see. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, there we go. So after it's done, we just take it, flip it on the plate. Then I just cut it between the breads. You can make this with four slices of toast bread, still steaming. You take your low calorie peanut butter. I take quite the amount of peanut butter. And I just spray it on the bread. Make sure you're using low calorie peanut butter. If you search for PB Fit, you can buy their low calorie peanut butter and you can use as much as I'm using from normal one. I'm making this recipe high in calories because I need to eat in a calorie surplus. If you want it to be low in calories, just either you skip the peanut butter and um, dried fruits, and you use low fat yogurt and strawberries, blueberries, and it still will taste amazing because toast bread itself tastes like a cake already. This is just like to, to increase the calories for me and for people who need to eat in a calorie surplus you need to eat based on your body type train the same way if you want to know more about this stuff you can go in the description box below this video you can find cookbooks with low calorie delicious recipes that can keep you full while being in a calorie deficit and losing weight you can find cookbooks you can find training plans you can find supplements also protein powders sleeping aids pre-workouts dried fruits on peanut butter so this is for people who need to bulk. If you put the peanut butter while the french toast is hot, then it kind of melts on the top and it, it just it just makes it so much better. Just make sure that you're using low calorie peanut butter. I don't know how many times I said that in this video so you don't forget. Just buy PB Fit. You can make this in 15 minutes if you're not recording. If you're recording it's gonna take like six hours. At this point you can put the fruit of your choice on the top, just make sure that fruit is low in calories, that is why I recommend strawberries or blueberries. Make sure you're eating enough fruits and vegetables, they are healthy for you, they are filled with nutrients, antioxidants. I can't wait to eat this right now, I can't even speak, I'm that hungry. If you like this video, please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Greg Doucette Supplements, Greg Doucette Coaching Plans, Greg Doucette Cookbooks, down in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next episode.